Hi, I'm Erin Fitzgerald. My students call me Miss Fitz. I am a middle school English and English teacher, mom, and somebody who loves the SAT test. In fact, I love it so much that I don't call myself a teacher on the SAT. I call myself an SAT strategist. I have come up with some strategies to help you attain your highest score possible. And I want to take a couple minutes and show you one of the strategies right now. I call this strategy the most nearly mean strategy. And I do that because you're going to see this at least, well, for a total of nine times on your SAT test. So while you're preparing, you'll know that you will see a most nearly means question nine times on your test. Nine opportunities to get this right will at least help your score by 50 points, a minimum of 50 points. So take the time to practice this strategy. It works in all of your class. So don't just this as an SAT strategy. This is a, a test strategy that will help you on all of your classes. The thing is, for history or science, or anything like that, you probably won't see the words most nearly means, but you will see that on SAT. This is a simple context clue. The interesting thing that the SAT has done is when they changed the test in 2016, they took away the abundance of difficult words for the students. So we before 2016, we used to have to do vocabulary lessons and do a multitude of vocabulary flashcards to understand the words that we were going to be tested on. That is very rare now on a test. You will encounter a couple words that are unfamiliar to you. However, you will have you will see that most of the words are familiar to you. In fact, look at this number 13. This most means backed up. I'm going to give you a little bit of context. And if you haven't noticed the article, and I'm taking it from a recent test in the official SAT guide. Um, and also, this is the October 2017 test. The, the article that this um, question is referring to has to do with track and uh, the whole premise of helping um, helping reduce traffic congestion and how the environmental impact of that. So you can kind of see environmental consequences, um, commuting, or driver. All of that is going to you understand um, what I'm about to show you. I actually am going to start right now showing you how you, you get this wrong. So the way that you get this wrong, 99% of the kids do this, is they look at as use an AT to act as most nearly means, and they build up their most recent background knowledge. Backed up? Yeah, I can tell you what backed up means. Think about it last time we went to the city. And I saw the biggest tra traffic I've ever been a part of. Or, you know, think about, about like around 5.30, maybe, maybe early on your bus on the way to school. Sometimes backed up around school. The whole context of the article is around traffic, so backed up must mean mm, supported, jammed. It's got to be, because this article is about traffic, and this is the only word that has to do with traffic jam. And that's where we go. Here's the way I want to show you how to do this. I'm just taking my eraser. I have an eraser. Probably have a little eraser like that. And I want you to cover up the possible answers. So we're going to look at number 13, as used in line, that most nearly means. And that's as much of the answers I want you to look at. I don't want you to look any further. What happened earlier? Is we automatically fell in love with jammed. We fell in love with it because it made sense. And then what happens is you want to, your brain is trying to gather these unfamiliar pieces. So your brain is going to make you fall in love with the, the options. No falling in love on the SAT test. We're going to do that. Do this logical, come up with a simple logical word. Backed up online. Nine to nine. So let's have a look. Eight to nine. And we're looking at four. Backed up. We're going to completely mark out black backed up as though 
but we don't even know what it means. What it was. And then, as I mentioned, we're going to come up with a very simple logical to take place. We're going to write it right off to the side. So that means that a new transit system has to be by something that impels complementary reductions in car use. Okay. Means that a new transit system has to be championed by something that impels complementary reduction in car use. It has to be. I'm going to go. I'm going to say champion. Has to be. What's something simple? What about endorsed? That means that a new, new transit must be endorsed by something that involves complementary reduction in car use. We're all in a political climate now, so I'm thinking if you endorse, if you endorse something, then what you're doing is voting for. Is that a new transit system has to be voted for or something voted that impels complementary reductions in car use. So we're not changing the meaning of the at all. We're just coming up with a pretty simple word that gets played. Think of anything that I should add? Looking for a synonym for champion or voted for. And do not look at your answer choices. Champion or voted for. Up. So, what does that mean? Champion or for? I like that. Like that. Champion endorsed or voted for? No. And I completely get rid of it. Substituted, does champion voted for? No. Completely get rid of that. And then our last one, jam. Does champion endorsed or voted for? So we get rid of that. So you see the strategy? Don't fall in love. Don't Means SAT. The concepts are figured out. You guys are just thinking about the context of the article and moving forward and picking nearly the means and to do instead of going back. And the more you practice this, the more you take it. I want to see another one. This is the April 2017 test. So on number three, as three, just near your lanes. So don't so don't look at options. don't look at your answer options. There on line. Look the out completely, just so we forgot what the word is. And then we're going to do with a simple logical word. Start a little bit ahead so that I can understand the content because this is the first read. She said, Oh, really? She said, I'm of one who has just received. As a present, as a who had just received a kind birthday present, the My birthday present. We go to that article that does not take place of me. All right, so let's go look. Don't fall in love. 
looking for somebody that has the attitude. But the Absence, no. Attitude, presence, yeah, I like that one. Attitude, presence, no. Demeanor, demeanor is yourself and your presence. Let's look at another one. The next one that came up was number 10. Remember, it's on test. Most your means. Bit, as though we don't know what it is at all. Just the it was other thirty. Despite the signal it gave, it was the poverty. What about the job it gave? It was austerity. Let's have a look. Right. Is it in like seven most appearance? I like that. Belief. That doesn't mean. Recollection is the closest thing that means show. It's a signal, show, appearance. Those are all synonyms. That's how simple it is. So go ahead and press on make sure that you have a very simple logical word that means the of the Logical word, something as simple as dog get down. You will never get nearly as wrong. I'm worth this. Put your score up. Thanks for watching.